Hello everyone, welcome on board. I'm Noor Abboud, System Engineer Manager for Takniyat, and our topic today is about Cisco Umbrella. You might know it as OpenDNS or DNS Security, maybe Secure Internet Gateway, we're going to see in a moment. I will try to make my presentation as quick as easy and easy as possible. I will try to not to go through all the slides and jump directly to the dashboard and see the magic there because seeing is believing. Now, the way we worked has changed. Before everything was contained within our network parameter. Security used to be like more about building a wall around our parameter, about the building and check from time to time our boxes, the compliances and check them. If, if, if the policies are still acceptable. And most of the security products were built as a closed system that could not integrate together and share intelligence. Now, what has changed? In fact, 49% of the workforce is now mobile. And in a recent survey, 82% of the respondents admitted that they are not using VPNs, which means they are using direct application, which is hosted outside or SaaS, which means it's in the cloud. 70% of the enterprise branches report direct internet access. Now, why this is important to, to you, to me, to our customers, these changes create a new security challenges. Now, security gateway. What we can do with the secure internet gateway or the DNS, or DNS security, sorry, or umbrella. Now we can have protection against threats over all ports and all protocols, and most important of it, on and off the corporate network, which means I can have protection in my office, in my car, driving in my hotel, in, at Starbucks, whatever, whatever, whatever I are, whatever, wherever I am, I can have protection we can have we will have proxy based inspection for our web traffic we can we will have file inspection with antivirus engines and behavior sandboxing and discovery con and control for SaaS applications and so on and so forth and we'll we will see them in a moment now let's look at this back as this picture how do you protect your network today your endpoints your firewalls, let's say, your UTMs, your proxies, your branches, your roaming like clients, your head office, whatever you have, how you can protect them. Think about where you enforce, where you where you enforce security today, whether in my firewall, whether it was in my router or my proxy. You probably have a range of products deployed at your corporate head, at your corporates and the branch offices, or in Lomic laptops. What we hear from customers like you is that despite the existing security products deployed, everything from firewalls to web proxies, to email security to endpoint products, they are still dealing with too many malware infections and phishing attacks. Now, how can we, I mean, how Umbrella can help us in this? Because we forget about a very important piece in the puzzle here which is the DNS. So we, we can we, we, we invest in many solutions, in many security solutions. Again, proxies, sandboxing, email filters, email securities, firewalls, you name it. But we forgot about DNS. And with the, without DNS, we don't have internet. We cannot have internet. So we, we, we need to shift our focus now and see how we, if we protect our DNS, how we can get protection. Now, we can, Umbrella provides enforcement without any delay. So this solution adds no latency to your responses or to your requests. As we mentioned earlier, Umbrella uses DNS to enforce security, but how does this work? Now let's see this. When Umbrella receives a DNS request, it first identifies which customer the request came from and which policy it needs to enforce. Next, Umbrella determines if the request is safe or malicious. 
malicious or black sorry whether it's safe or whitelisted malicious or blacklisted or risky and from that it's either allowed or blocked so there's different levels how umbrella can decide if it's allow or deny or whether we have access or we don't have access so again i will try to skip some of the slides to, to to save time and go to the dashboard and see what you got think about what happens when a machine is infected often malware will use command and control command and control on callbacks to communicate with an attacker for additional instruction or information to exfiltrate data and steal data from your pc or from your client from your for, from your organization some researchers researchers from stealthwatch team which is stealthwatch is which is part of cisco which is for cisco as well found that 50 percent of callbacks by password ports and the ports covered by traditional web security systems so let's do recap in another way you have a web filter and you have which is web security whatever vendor you have and you have a client is infected with a callback now this callback will try to evade or to to escape and use ports the proxy will not discover them so you must likely have a gap in your coverage if you are not if you are only relying on your SWG or Secure Web Gateway or the Perimeter Security. Cisco conducted additional research that found 90% of the callbacks rely on the DNS. So by using Umbrella, you do you have the ability to discover and block the majority of these callbacks. So you will have 100% security, let's say, or 99.99% security because there is nothing called as 100% security. Okay, now Umbrella also gather information about the requests. So for example, if a device is going to access a domain and it will go and check about the status of the domain, where the domain is hosted, maybe it is the compromised domain and there's some, or maybe it is, it is hosted next to a domain that the domain is known as malicious. There is so many rules and there is no many, there is so, so many uh, filters or let's say algorithms used to, to detect and give uh, and to know about the status of our requests. So, quick numbers what we see or what Cisco received 140 billion requests per day, 90 million requests, 90 million daily active users, and around 15k enterprise customers. Now, the models we uh, Umbrella uses to filter uh, uh, DNS requests and to know which is not bad or, or, or good. There is so many algorithms and models like co-occurrence model, uh, sender rank model, secure rank model, guilt by association, patterns of guilt, there's a lot of them. So, I have just quick about spike rank model, it's very important, it's very nice and I love it. Now, if you can see, I will try to, to give it as, a, as an example for a patient in a hospital and we have that monitor to, to monitor his heartbeats. And there's a pattern, if, if that is a pattern for, his, for an, a heart attack, if that pattern was matched on that device, on the monitoring device, it would trigger, trigger an alarm and the doctor will know that this patient is going to have or is having a heart attack. Same thing we do with the DNS. There is a pattern for an, for an attack. Was an exploit or phishing or ransomware? The pattern is the same for that attack. So, for example, the phishing, if, if a phishing attack, the same pattern is used any, everywhere. So, if the DNS or if Umbrella, which is the DNS security, uh, uh, sees that pattern, they will either, they either block it and will trigger an, an, an alert for for us for the IT administrator to take action action immediately so now just to quickly this study is from uh, taken 2016 uh, uh, I, uh, now it's updated in 2019 for or 2020 the Cisco have around 30 data center worldwide instead of 27 or 31 I believe for this is only for umbrella and now in terms of speed, Umbrella is 
Number two, and in some countries they are, or some regions they are number one. For example, in North America, they are they have number one. This is in millisecond in terms of the delay. So I believe let's start because now we, this is our screenshot from the dashboard. If we go directly to see umbrella live, it will be very beautiful. Okay. Now this is the dashboard for umbrella. It's very easy and straightforward. Just a couple of tabs you need to know about, which is uh, uh, policies and the reporting and uh, the rest is like just optional. So from the from the dashboard you can see that we have uh, about number of active networks so this is for the on network so I can, if i have multiple branches this will be the number of branches and the number of active branches of them and this is for the roaming clients so i have like for example 14 roaming clients using their laptops uh, from from home or from 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 starbucks or whatever location they have and this is for the virtual appliances which is we have a virtual machine deployed on the network. So again, from from the from the dashboard, you can see the total number of requests which is blocked, total blocks, security blocks, and you can see about the total uh, total security categories with the malware, phishing blocks, command and control, and so on and so forth. So it's, again, it is quick readings for different categories and for. for, for for uh, uh, application, risky application, and so on and so forth. But the beautiful part is part is the policies. So you can go to the policies tab and all policies. All policies is the same as the subsections. For example, the content categories you can access from the all policies. However, this is by section by section. For example, if I need to modify the security settings, settings or the content categories only, I can go directly from there or from the all policies the moment so from this so you can see this is the all the, the, the entire policy and it's from like destination listed you can click it from there or from here uh, content content categories you can set it, set it from here as well now, what we can do with the policy? As you can see, it's just very easy from the first look. I can have the identities affected. What do I? What what do, what do they mean by the identity affected? It, which, on who or what device I need to apply the policy? Whether it's from Active Directory user, so let's see, I have to edit. So whether an Active Directory user or computer or a network, for example, or in a subnet or in a roaming computer or in a site. So or a mobile mobile device. So which means what identity or what device or what person or what the, what name I need to apply the policy. Now, after that, what security setting I need to apply. So that also let's see. Now this is very important. I need to. By the way, there is predefined policies, high, low, uh, medium. So I need to to block malwares. So let's edit. I need to block malwares or you need to un uncheck it. I need to block phishing attacks. No, it doesn't make sense to uncheck malwares and phishing attacks. What does make sense sometimes is for the newly seen domains. Because if a domain is newly created and you check that box, it will be blocked by the DNS. So some domains you need to have access to it. There is a whitelist and blacklist, so you can whitelist it if you check this you if you check that box so we have the crypto mining and this is very important by the way i've been seeing this myself the some 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 uh, uh, like, for like like malwares or, or or viruses they are installed on the server or on the, your computer or on your desktop or laptop whatever it is and they start using the new resources on the gpu or cpu and start doing mining so they are not stealing data however they are using the device your device your hardware to to generate money, bitcoins. So okay, let's see what's next. Now this is also very beautiful. 
let's wait for a bit the content filtering now content filtering now as if we are talking about sig security security, security and gateway proxy we hover it in the cloud so as i told you that it's predefined a category high low medium so for the low I need, I need to block anything related to sexuality pornography and so on and so forth moderate we have like along with the with the low we have more like to gaming gambling and so on and so forth and we have for the high which means everything which is not related to businesses let's say so this is predefined categories so if you want to just buy just one for two couple of minutes you need to have your your environment ready just go there create a rule apply to everyone block let's say no, no sorry it's, uh, apply to everyone and select the low profile and uh, everything related to pornography and sexuality is blocked and you have you can have your own customized rules second or maybe last but not least which is application settings so now also we can even control the application to the, the 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 one the previous one was for the content filtering based on the url now we can block application and it's very granular in a way you can even block applications, Skype application, uh, chat within the within Facebook, uh, Dropbox, peer to peer, uh, whatever application you need to you you want to you can block it. So, for example, ad pub, ad publishing. Uh, let's say let's say for example, cloud storage. I want to block cloud storage. So there is tons of them like Forshare, uh, Forcing, Dropbox. Uh, what else apply cloud whatever application you can also select the application so uh, last but not least well, again destination so we can also i can my again I'll, I'll keep repeating it all this based on the dns request so i am I'm, 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 uh, my page or my request was blocked to that destination to that category to that application from the dns imagine the speed since there is, there is no latency latency added it's very very fast in a way you will not uh, you will not feel it so destination you can block uh, on the on the destination also there is a file analysis so as if i'm also do, doing not as if we are doing file inspection antivirus analysis on the on the files being downloaded to my to, to my pc now there's also advanced settings for uh, uh, ssl inspection and uh, ssl decryption which is uh, to decrypt and encrypt the http uh, request also we have the inner force safe search so now even my search within search as uh, search engines are safe so this is quickly for the policies i don't want, want to waste a lot of the time this is the basics so we can have it like deployed in a couple of minutes literally couple of minutes all you need is to do just sign up to umbrella point dns to umbrella and voila it's working if you want you can tu you can tune it tweak it just modify the rules and you are secure the most important the second important part from along along with the security and we all know and we all we all uh, 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 struggle for it or from it which is uh, reporting i need to know what my users are doing off network now on network i might have stealth watch i might have uh, sim solutions i might have prime no prime is not like i have whatever prime or whatever reporting solutions i have but i want to see and what what my remote users are doing outside now now from this covid 19 90 percent even more of the employees were work from home where well, i need to know so from the reporting you can see every everything why because it's on the dns and without the dns they cannot have internet access so we can have all the, the all the requests all the destination whatever blocked we can, again we cannot see the data we cannot see like username password even actual data we cannot see we can only see the request and from the request you can tell whether the employee is working or not working so from the reporting it's again it's a very beautiful and very very uh, uh, handy tool for uh, for, for, uh, for the it administrators security administrators or even that network engineers to use so just quickly so you can see from the time uh, allowed blocked uh, application discovery activity search you can for, for the activities or whatever thing you can search for 
So in a brief, this is umbrella. Again, there is a lot of thick, a, a lot of feature to dig in, but we need to make it quickly and straight to the point so you can discover it yourself. But we can go to the cloud again. Just now, after the report has opened, you can see uh, source, destination, workstation, uh, uh, LAN IP, or like private IP, public IP, and whether it's blocked or unallowed, and the category. So feel free to go to the cloud, have your own uh, access, your own account, and do you do do the demo, or you can reach us Takniat and we can do the POC for you. Also, we are offering free consultation, network assessments, uh, free get to, to have access uh, uh, to send us an email and good luck.